right, boys, we're still here, and it's finally time to finish it off. It's been a few videos here, but we're going to get it done here, all right? So, I think, yeah, we only have two more players. We have David Krejci. We're still going to save that for last. And, yeah, Bodker was our other one, all right? So, Bodker, he's got the 89 for skating. All right, so I'm expecting a little, I'm not expecting a lot, but again, people love those fast skaters, all right? So let's see what we have here. Como and 1,000, no thank you, reject offer. I would much rather hold on to a player that can skate. All right, uh, Oliokinen, nope, reject that offer. Uh, Boschman and Falk, no, nope, reject that offer. Prust and Oduya, nope, nothing good so far. Lapierre, Gillis, and Roman Yossi, nope, reject that offer. Uh, Ryan Malone for Bodker. It's not bad. I mean, like, for certain situations, I wouldn't mind accepting that. But Bodker, I mean, the 89 skating, I'm going to hold on to him. Reject offer. All right. Even if I, I, could, I could easily play this guy. Uh, Palmieri, no, nah, reject offer. Uh, Buttercup, no, nah, reject offer. Uh, Ryan Malone, nope, reject offer. All right. So, no good trades there. I mean, there were good trades, but uh, I would rather hold on to Bodker for that price. All right. I mean, I have Bodker, Bouchard, all these high skating guys that uh, I could use, you know what I mean? So why not hold on to them? All right, so yeah, didn't get any more uh, trade requests while we were waiting. Here's the big fish, all right? We already taken care of uh, Bergeron. Couture didn't get any trade requests, but he does have a current bid on him, so that's probably why. All right, uh, so I might get 15000 for Couture, but hopefully it goes up. There's still two days left. All right, so it's going to be a while for that. But uh, Krejci, all right, so 49 now, I don't know if more people would have liked Bergeron over... Oh, my God. Look at this. This is probably the same guy who traded, like, the arm and the leg for Bergeron. Look at this. He wants to be Ian White, Filpula, and Grabowski. I already traded away Grabowski so I could get him back. I, I already have a Filpula, so I could have two. All right. And Ian White. But the thing that's really nice is the 15,000 pucks. Damn, I like that trade. I do. So I'm going to delay that offer. So we've already... This is good. I already have a trade from the start that we can uh, compare everything to and easily delete stuff, right? So, no, that doesn't even come close. Reject offer, all right? Butler, nope, reject offer. It's got to be a lot of EA pucks in there as well. All right, got one good player and a bunch of pucks on that trade. So, let's see what they come back with. Uh, Jake Gardner, Martin Brodeur, Anisimov, and Ballard. Like, if that other trade wasn't there, I would look at... Hang on a sec. Hang on. Let me just let me just start again here. I kind of forgot exactly what the trade was, other than the fifteen thousand pucks. Hang on. Um, yeah, I mean you're getting Grabowski, Filpula. Remember, Grabowski would go for a lot. Filpula, the ninety skater, and it'd be good to have two of them. All right. And Ian White's not a bad defenseman either. The fifteen thousand pucks. So technically, we're not getting a superstar here that I would want back, but it's the pucks. All right. So I'll just remember that delay. All right. Here, am I getting a superstar back? Not really. I mean, Jake Gardner I want eventually, but yeah, he's, I mean, I have better defenseman right now. So, you know, I'm actually going to reject that offer. And Brodeur, we've already loaded up with Kari Lettinen and uh, Brzgalov, so I really don't need a goalie anymore. All right, so, no, I'm going to reject this one as well. Reject this one as well. All right, uh, no thank you. All right, <laughs> troll trade, reject, uh, reject, reject. Oh, here we come, here we go. Yep, same guy over and over again. <laughs> Uh, oh, get the hell out of here. Steve Downey, no thank you. Reject offer. Uh, Andre Kostitsin, uh, I haven't seen that card actually. I've seen a bunch of Sergei Kostitsins, uh, but I'm going to reject that offer. Uh, Ryan Klostrom, it's not a bad deal, but uh, reject the offer. Remember, you got 15,000 EA pucks that have been offered here with some good players. So, I mean, I got, I got, I, I have to take, get them. I got it. just, I got to take that one. Unless there's something else that's better. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Tim Connolly. Uh, no, why, why am I even thinking about that, man? I've been doing this too long now. My, my brain is getting fried. Uh, Turris and a thousand. No, thank you. I already have a Kyle Turris. Ah, uh, uh, no, thank you. Galliardi, Backlund, and Jan Jansky. No, thank you. Reject that offer. I'm really just like looking at the pucks now. All right, if the pucks really aren't even that high. I mean, it doesn't matter unless there's like Bernie Mac, not bad, but we already filled up on goaltenders. No, thank you. Uh, nope, no, thank you. Uh, La Ooh, Landeskog. It's not bad. Yeah, he's nothing special, though. I know there's probably a Colorado fan out there who would like him, but the EA Pucks just does not match up. Reject offer. Reject that offer. Cleary and Tootin. Nope, reject that offer. Uh, Anisimov and the Wick and 2000. That's not a bad deal, but no, reject that offer. Uh, the Nuge and 1000. Not a bad deal, but nope. Uh, Burmistrov, Subotka. Nope. 
Uh, Clarkson already got a Clarkson. No, nope. man, no, uh, no pucks in these deals. They just don't match up to that first deal. They just really don't match up to it whatsoever. Reject offer. Uh, set of Gucci's. Not bad. No, nah, no. Nah, what am I talking about? No pucks with that. That's horrible. Uh, Laner. Nah, no thank you. Uh, Mike Fisher. No, no pucks. Uh, no pucks. Only 700. Nah, man. That first trade was much better than all these. You know, I didn't know what didn't know what to think about Krejci because I mean he's technically good, but he's not really amazing. You know what I mean? Um, and there are better names for Boston Bruin players out there. So um, yeah, that's not a bad trade. Like I would accept that trade, but uh, maybe accept that trade actually. But the other the first one just takes the crown right now. Reject offer. Uh, Schultz. Uh, nope. Reject that offer. Uh, nope. I mean it's not even. I'm not even having to think twice about these. No, nope, it's definitely that first trade. I've got to take that first trade. That was way too good. I didn't even delay anything. Once I saw this first, it's got to be taken. Ian White, who's, you know, arguably the best defenseman in Detroit right now. Uh, Philip Ula, he's got that 90 skating. And now if I have two of them, you know, somebody's going to want that 90 skater. And Grabowski, you saw the pretty penny we got for Grabowski earlier, right? A Leaf fan out there. And he's got the 88 for skating. And then the pucks. I mean, the pucks themselves. So I got to accept this offer. All right, so thank you very much for the pucks, boys. I appreciate it, as always. <laughs> um, send all to my collection. Yep. Send all. Yeah, just making sure I'm not deleting anything here. Yeah, send all to my collection. Very nice. Oh, I already had an Ian White. Well, that's fine. Send to trade pile. All right. So there you go, boys. There is our third trading day taken care of. And look at that. We're up to 91,000 EA pucks. I might be able to make a, a little bit of a good purchase here. All right. Is there any more trades? No. Nope. These are the players that we didn't uh, trade away. All right, and here's some of the new players that we got that we're able to put on the trading block. All right, so my trading block is still kind of full. All right, so I know this video is kind of be is going to be a bit shorter than the other ones, but I didn't know how long this last one was going to be. We actually went by pretty quickly for uh, what's his name, Krejci. All right, so we have our team. Uh, what do I want to do? So I said to you guys that I wanted to purchase some cards. Now I'm not going to do it in this video because I want to make it a separate video. And I actually might think I, I, yeah, in fact, I'm going to wait till tomorrow to put out the videos about the pack openings because I've already gotten three Hockey Ultimate Team videos up today. But, um, man, I, I, oh, this is rough. This is rough because I kind of just, I kind of want to just spend like 90 grand on like an amazing player. You know, if I could like, how much would like Crosby go for? Hang on a sec. Not Crosby because he would be in over 100,000. Yeah, he would be. Uh, where's, what's, where, where's the NHL? There you go. All right, so it doesn't matter the team. Let me just put up the minimum price to like, uh, like twenty thousand. All right, so because I could quickly buy anyone who's twenty thousand or better. So go up here. All right, search whatever nineteen five whatever. All right, so guys like Spets, uh, they don't have a quick buy. I mean, I could quick buy Ryan Kessler for like uh, thirty two. All right, thirty four. Do I could get a Duchesne for twenty eight? Oh my God, I could get a Duchesne. So Duchesne is so good. It looks like Spets up for thirty. All right, so that's what I mean. Uh, Henrik by now, 195. I don't think so, buddy. All right, but you see what I mean? I mean, I could quickly purchase some of these guys right now with my uh, 91,000. I'm not going to do it because you guys said that you want me to open up some packs because you guys like seeing pack openings. All right, so that's what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to open up a lot of packs. All right, I'll open up a few. Um, I think I want to save some money. All right, maybe I'll make it so I don't go below 50,000 because I look... A Stamkos? Oh no, I thought I saw a Stamkos for 26 uh, by now. I totally would have done that, but no, it was uh, it was Getzlaff. All right, just quickly looking here, see if there's anybody outstanding out here. All right, no, we got Duchesne, 40. Um, anybody special? Like, yeah, like, like Jonathan Taves would be nice, but 110. All right, Kessler. Like, Kessler would be a nice little player to quick buy. All right, Jordan Stahl, not a bad little player to quick buy. All right. But yeah, like, like the Duchesne for, yeah, but I'm not going to do it right now, boys. All right, I'm not going to do it right now. Oh, uh, Logan Couture, Logan Couture for 20 grand. That's not bad. All right, sorry, right, I'm just taking a while here. I just want to see if there's anyone that I can get for a steal because I'll do it right now. If I see a player that I want that's like less than 40 grand, I'll do it right now. Ah, uh, yeah, there's really no one. Eric Stahl for 35, but nah, I'd rather not for now. All right, so we're going to back out here. We're not going to purchase any players. All right, so... Uh, the next Hockey Ultimate Team video comes out tomorrow, and I'm going to spend a bunch of pucks on, uh, what's it called, on pack openings, alright? So, 
I don't know what I could do. I could do 13, 18 rare items. How much would this cost? 35, so I could open up like two of them. Nah, I wouldn't want to buy that one because I got wrecked last time with the mega deals. I could maybe just go the uh, premium gold jumbo because they actually changed the description. It now says four to five high end players, all right? So 15,000. You know what we can do? We can open up. Um, we can open up, uh, what is it, four of them. All right, we can open up four of them, spend $60,000 on uh, on uh, pack openings, all right? So the next Hockey Ultimate Team video can be four premium cold jumbo pack openings, all right? And that way we would still have uh, 31,000 EA pucks, and I could quickly purchase, like, a Matt Duchesne for 25, 28 grand or whatever it is, all right? So there you go, boys. Uh, I'm not going to open up any packs today. The next Hockey Ultimate Team video will come out tomorrow, all right? So there you go. Take it easy, boys, and we'll see you next time.